everyone, it's President Arctic Games. Duck, I'm here, and today we're on the west side of the National Mall. Um, right in front of us is the Washington Memorial, and right behind us is Lincoln Memorial, which is really, really cool. We're going to be checking out some of these monuments before we start filming our PBS Kids digital videos. So we're here at the Reflecting Pool. Right in front of us is the World War II Memorial, which is really pretty. Um, we got pictures in front of the, like, I guess, pillar that of the state that we were born in, and the state of Colorado, which we live in currently, which is really, really nice. And behind me is the real reflecting, reflecting pool, which is really pretty. And right behind that, you can see the Lincoln Memorial. Um, we're working our way over there, but we just thought it would be nice to kind of stop by over at Hebe Harris. The, tell the people at home, we're on the YouTube. Um, actually, before we left, I was a Pokemon master. This Scrabble and this place makes me more, more, this gives me a lot of more Pokemon. So this is a, a way to get a lot of Pokemon. You're stopping, starting Pokemon Go. Okay, so here we are at the Lincoln Memorial. Um, it is 19 feet tall, but if you were standing up, you'd be 28, which is really, really cool. Um, it's very, very Greek. It reminds me of the Parthenon, as well as there's a really cool, like, little marble slide, which I don't think is supposed to be a slide, but that's how I'm using it. And yeah, it's really, really cool and fun, but we're getting thirsty, so we're gonna get some water. So right behind me is the Vietnam Memorial, which I think is one of my favorite ones here. And it's just a really simple memorial. It's just, um, a big path that's aligned with black stone of some sort and into the stone is carved to, um, all the names of people that have died in the Vietnam War and it's a really moving and touching memorial and it's super duper simple. Uh, there are gifts live, um, every, all along the lines for people that um, people used to know that fought in the war. We looked at the gifts and found some names on them and we found the people on the plaque Cooper found his own name. Um, he found a Cooper. Um, but yeah, I, if you're coming here, definitely give this one a visit. It seems to be pretty overlooked. I've never really heard of it before, although I'd heard of, ever, I'd heard of everything else. Um, but yeah, this one's one of my favorites, so I would definitely recommend giving it a visit. So right behind me are pieces of the Berlin Wall, and if you don't know what it is, um, there is the city of Berlin, which is in Germany, was split in half, and one side was a communist side, and the other side was free. And you can see there's like a guard tower here, and on the free side they would paint things like this. And and we'll, uh, we're about to see what the other side looks like. And these are, I think, are actual parts of the Berlin Wall from Germany, yeah. which is really, really cool um, to be able to see that that stuff is here right now. So behind me is a exhibit on the Pulitzer, Pulitzer um, Photograph Awards, and which really shows how powerful photographs can be. And it has some really, really, really amazing photography. I would highly recommend you come and check it out if you're in DC. And it also has a little video about the photographers talking about how they got these pictures and their stories. And there are even some of the cameras that were actually used to take these photos and some of the more popular cameras that are used. And yeah, it was really, really cool and I highly recommend you guys check it out. So we've over to the National Gallery of Art. We're here in the Rotunda and we've already seen some really, really cool paintings like Vermeer and we're about to go see some impressionists like Van Gogh and Monet. And it's a really, really nice National Gallery. Um, <laughs> I am enjoying it so far. I have found a new hobby, which is to take pictures of like um, sculptures and stuff like that, but with Snapchat filters. Um, so I have some of these lovely things right here. Um, this is my new favorite thing to do in art galleries. So we're here with the Leonardo da Vinci painting. And I've heard it to be actually only the, on, the only Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci painting in the Western Hemisphere. That's very hard to say. Um, which is really, really cool that we're seeing the only one. Um, so yeah, that's just really nice and obviously a very special thing if it actually is the only one in the Western Hemisphere. We just saw the Van Goghs and the Monets too, which were really, really nice. Um, and I actually saw one of my favorite Monets, which is which I couldn't really relate to until I got my glasses, which is as he slowly loses his eyesight, he paints the same bridge. And the colors and the blurriness all change. And I couldn't really relate to it because I was seeing like this and I looked like this and I'm like, oh yeah, okay. And then I put these on and whoa, sight, wow, amazing. What do you think? Tell me what you think. Good, good. It's good? Mm-hmm. Abba, how's your spaghetti? Very good. 
tasty. Yes. So we had an awesome dinner and we had a really great time checking out some of the monuments and going to a couple of museums. Um, but yeah, today was a really great day. Um, please press subscribe if you want to see more of our Washington DC trip. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!